Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an experiment in space. Let's have two objects, two spheres, that have additional charge on them equal to one coulomb. And they're connected to a, with a string or a rope that's 100 meters long so that they can move apart from one another 100 meters because obviously since they are both positively charged they will repel one another. The question is what is the tension on that string? Now we can easily calculate that using Coulomb's law but before we do that we're going to try something else because we want to show how by using the electric field concept we can get the same answer as we can using Coulomb's law. So first what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the electric field over here due to the presence of charge 1. What is the electric field at the location of Q2? And we can do that by using the equation E1 is equal to, we're going to find the magnitude, which is equal to K times Q1 divided by the distance squared. So in this case, that would be 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared multiply times Q1, which is 1 Coulomb, all divided by the distance, which is 100 meters, quantity squared. So what would be the electric field at that location? 9e to the 9th divided by 100 squared, which is, of course, 9e to the 5th, or 900,000 newtons per Coulomb. So now we're going to find the force experienced by this charge by placing it inside that electric field. So now we can say that the force on Q2 is going to be equal to Q2 times the magnitude of the electric field caused by Q1. And so in this case, that would be equal to 1 Coulomb multiplied times electric field, which is 900,000 newtons per coulomb so that would be equal to 900,000 newtons so you better make that a very strong string or a very strong rope or it would not be able to withstand that enormous force between those two charges so that's how we found the tension on the string by first calculating the electric field here caused by the charge over here and then finding out the force on that charge by placing that charge in the field and so the force on Q2 is simply Q2 times E1. Now how does that work if we're going to use Coulomb's law? So using Coulomb's law we could have said that the force between the two charges is equal to K times Q1 Q2 divided by the distance between them squared so this would be equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th newtons per uh, no, Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Q1 is 1 Coulomb, Q2 is 1 Coulomb, divided by the distance, which is 100 meters quantity squared. Notice in this case, the Coulombs cancel out, the meters squared cancel out, and 9 times 10 to the 9 divided by 10,000 will also give us 900,000 Newtons. So here is actually a really good way to show you that Coulomb's law is, gives you the same result as if you assumed that this charge causes an electric field to exist over there. Then you place a charge in there which then feels a force equal to Q times the electric field caused by this one. And notice we get the exact same result. And that's kind of interesting. That's how it's done.